Hey, I'm Frizzeller, and welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. This time I'll be making a tutorial on how to make a hub world. So let's just jump right into this. First of all, before you make a hub world, I would suggest that you have all your other levels made before you do this. Now I've made, I've already made my very simple hub, and I've also made um, three very, very simple levels just for this tutorial. Now what I would suggest you do is go to wherever you have uh, Super Mario Bros. X saved. Mine is saved in you know my computer and then SMBX. And then I would go to Worlds. And then make a new folder. I've, call, I've made it and I've called it Tutorial. And drag all your levels and all your level files and everything into here. You know, all your folders or whatever if you have any folders that contain um, graphics and music and stuff for your levels. Drag it all in here and then um, yes once you have that done we can move on to our next thing. So I'll just open up my hub world here. As you can see it's it's very basic. I didn't put a whole lot of effort into it because I'll probably just delete it after this tutorial. But yeah. So now another thing you should do is go to world editor Make sure you have everything saved here and then hit yes. And then, since we're not using an overworld, since we're using a hub world for our game, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to drag this window up here. Now, whatever you have in world name, see, what, see this box where it says world name? Whatever you put there is what your game is going to be called on the Super Mario Bros. X title screen. So, I will call it tutorial stuff because why not and then um, in auto start level this is where you want to put the name of your hub world so I just named mine hub.lvl and then make sure you check this box that says no world map make sure, make sure you check that now I uh, I'll make a tutorial on everything in the overworld editor and making an overworld and everything later, but personally, I have never really done anything in the overworld editor before. Like, I don't know what this, I don't know what this credit stuff is for. Uh, I don't really know what any of this stuff is for. I mean, I have some ideas, but I don't know for sure. So I'll make a tutorial on all that later. But anyways, go to file, save, and then, um... I don't know if this has to be named anything in specific, but in all of the other Super Mario Bros. X games that use hub worlds that I've seen have just named it world.wld and then hit save. Um, so I don't know if it has to be named that, but that's what all the other games have it named, so I would suggest you name it world... yeah. Now for my hub world, to get from um, level to level, I'm just going to use doors. For yours, you can use pipes if you want to, but all the other hub worlds I've seen, they've just been doors, so I'm just going to use doors. Um, yeah, but like I said, you can use pipes if you want to, but the only difference would be that you would place these exits and stuff in pipe form instead of door form. So... Yeah, I'll make door, I'll make it an entrance, and then I'll make it warp to level, put whatever level you want it to warp to, so I'll name it level one, oops, level one dot LVL, because that's where I want it to warp me to, and then, let's just do it again, oh yeah, alright, just leave it on normal entrance, and don't, don't mess with anything else, unless you don't want the player to be able to take a Yoshi with them, or anything like that. But anyways, I'll just, um, so all I've done is put warp effect door, warp placement entrance, warp to level, level 1.lvl because that's what the level is named. And then I will just place it right there. And then I'll save it. And then I'll do that for all my other levels. So I have three levels total, level 1, level 2, and level 3.lvl. So I'll just make this one level 2.lvl and I'll put it there. And then I'll make this one level 3.lvl 
and I'll put it right there. And then in this door, I'll make it warp you to like another section of the overworld, of the hub world or something. So now I'll do file save, and I'll save it. And now, when we go over to Super Mario Bros. X, as you can see, we can select tutorial stuff. And then I'll just do Mario for now. And I've already messed around in this just to make sure it works, so I'll just select an empty slot. And as you can see, we're out on our overworld. Or I, I, I keep calling it an overworld, I apologize, it's a hub world. And now, yeah, I know my cursor's in the way, but... Now, when we go in here, as you can see, it said zero out of one, because there is one star in this, in this level. I didn't exactly, um, show that for very long. But yeah, so if you have a star as an exit, then in front of the door, it will display how many stars there are. So, see, I just got that star. And now it should work me back out at the hub world. Yep, and see now it says one out of one, meaning we've gotten the one exit there is. Now, um, yeah, as you can see, th this other level right here doesn't display zero out of one, even though there is indeed an exit there, and that's because the exit is not a star. Like here, I'll show you. As you can see, this exit is a question mark sphere. Um, and that's why it doesn't display the amount of stars, because there, there aren't any stars. So see if I grab that, then when we go back out, then, well I should say, then it'll just take us back out to the hub world. And then, yeah. So if you're using a hub world, I'd suggest you use stars for your exits, because then you can set limits to how many stars you need before you go to other places. Whereas if you just use regular exits to your levels, you won't be able to like detect how many exits you've you have, if that makes sense. So like I'll go back into the um, the editor and I'll show you what I mean. Now here I'll just replace the questions mark sphere with a star, the star right here, so that I can more easily show you what I'm talking about. So now I'll open hub.lvl and I'll erase that warp and now I'll go and I'll replace the warp so I'll make it a door and then I'll warp to level level 2.lvl but here's this is why stars are pretty cool because you can um, put how many stars you need before you can access this place. So if I want to make it so that you cannot access this level until you have two stars, then I can put stars needed two, and then place this, and then in game, you will not be able to access this level until you have three stars. I remember how I said I was going to make this, this door lead to another section of the hub world? Well, I can also do that with this war. Like, if I... If I don't want to make it warp you to a level, I want you to make it... I want it to warp you to another part of the level. Then I can just put stars needed two or however many stars you want. And then I'll place the entrance there. And then I can go to the next section of my hub world. And I can place the exit here. So I'll just put some ground right here. And then warps and doors, I'll do exit, and I'll put the exit right there, and I will place a door there. And then there we go. So, what did I just do? Well, hang on, let me just get music here. It, it, this place needs music, I just can't stand it being quiet. So anyways, what did I just do? Well... I made another section of the hub world, meaning that I can put more doors that lead to levels in here. But I made it that you need two stars before that's, this section of the hub world is open. So you won't be able to go into this door to access that part of the hub world until you have two stars. And the same goes for this level. So here I'll just show it to you. So see, I'll just select tutorial stuff, and then... 
Um, yeah, I'll just go here. And now, as you can see, these doors up here have stars in them. And if I try to enter it, it says you need two stars to enter. You need two stars to enter here as well. So as you can see, now this level has a star in it because I, I placed a star. So now you could just have a level here and have the person go through it. And then when they collect the star and get transported back to the hub world you've made. Now as you can see, there is no longer a star on these doors. And... Wait, why does it say one out of one here? Oh, I, for, I accidentally made it lead to the wrong level. I meant to make this lead to the third level, but I accidentally made it lead to the second level again. So, um, oops. But yeah, as you can see, now I can enter this door, and I can enter this door as well. Now I'll just show you one last thing here. Remember way back when I told you that... Um... If I check this box and then I put the map coordinates, then when I enter through this warp, it will end the level. Well, or I should say it will end the level and then it'll put you back out at the world map. Well, you can also do this for a hub world. So I'll just put that there. And now when I come, th when I get to this level, if I go through that door, then it'll end the level and spit me back out at the hub world. So yeah, I'll just show you one last time what I was talking about here. So, uh, yeah, here's our hub world, and then I'll go into our modified level. And, uh, when I go through this door, it should spit me back out in the hub world. Yep. So, um, yeah, there are a ton of neat possibilities with this, and, uh, well, a lot of games have already taken advantage of these neat possibilities, like Super Mario Eternal Chaos, and the Super Mario Bros. X thing, and, um, but anyways, yeah, so, thanks for watching, if I can, or, wow, I, I cannot talk today. If you didn't understand anything, you need further assistance, or you'd like to request a tutorial, or anything like that, just please let me know. Leave a comment. Is there something I can improve upon? If so, let me know. I'd, I'd love to I'd love to hear what you guys think, and I'd also love to know if I can help with anything else, and yeah, thanks for watching.